Hello, welcome to this week's Altrix short tip. Last week we split a very large file into smaller blocks so that could be edited and corrected. This week's workflow will put those files back together again into one large file so that it can be managed and processed the way it was started. As you can see, this is a very short workflow. It has three widgets in it, some that you might not have used before, and so we'll take a look at those. We start out with by trying to determine all the files that we need to merge back together again. And we do that with the directory, which is found in input and output. We give it the root directory, in this case the one where we save this workflow. And then the file specification is all of the output files from the previous short tip that we did last week. As you can see, the results of this has all of our files in it with lots of information about the files. We're only concerned about the full path, but it's okay just to pass these on. What we want to do is be able to read each one of these files sequentially and we can do that with the dynamic input widget which is found in developer. When you define a dynamic input you need to create a template so it knows how to run the files that are coming to it and you do that with the edit and this looks pretty much, if not exactly like, the input that we used in the previous workflow. It will not actually read this file, but it is simply the template that it will use to go against each file that is passed to it. We want to read a list of data sources. We want to use the field full path and it is to change the entire file paths. So therefore, as you can see from our output, it will read each one of the output records that we had created before. Then very easy, we write that output back to another CSV, because that's what we started with. We'll use the slash n to delimit it, so it's just dealing on an entire record for each row. And if you want to see what it looks like, go back to our log at the very bottom. The 19 input files were read. If you look at the numbers that match what was originally in the file to start with on last week's workflow, and it wrote all those out to our merged output file. You can see all the data is here with only a single header at the top of it, so now I can read this into my testing program. Hope this helps you manage some of your larger files, breaking them into blocks, and putting them back together again. Keep in mind that you can use this workflow anytime you have more than one file that has the same format that needs to be merged into your output. Have a great day.